Good evening, everyone. My name is Jeff Roberts, and I have the pleasure of, of telling you all about the various uh, organizations that the co-op is supporting this year through its uh, Cooperative Community Fund. Uh, we always get a number of, of uh, applications, and it's always a challenge as to how we allocate the money. That money, by the way, is in part what the co-op does in, its, in the community. So we have a number of these that I want to just touch base on. The first one, Central Vermont Council on Aging, located over in Barrie. This will support a project that they're doing for volunteer gardeners and older adults to grow produce and to, and to participate in gardening. The funds will cover part of the soil prep, seeds and other tools uh, in partnership with a local farm. The second one is the Circle Organization, also located in Barrie. And this is, again, a food-related one uh, the, to help them purchase uh, canning supplies and so forth for the communal kitchen. Uh, they are a domestic violence support organization uh, who want to provide a safe cooking for their shelter uh, space and also to support their various residents. They're going to be using this to purchase additional, additional equipment for the kitchen, uh, food processor, Tupperware, and so forth. Number three, down in Northfield, is the Glynis Hill Farm. They are doing a, a solidarity CSA program which offers no cost produce to uh, shares to low income neighbors. The funds will help as a starter and also provide $25 a week for 10 weeks to four families over the winter. A really important uh, benefit which Glynis does in order to help their community. Number three is here in Montpelier, Ishtar Collective. This is the help with paying for the flood damage this past summer uh, to their food storage access. They are a sex worker rights and anti-trafficking organization. Um, their fridge and garden area is actually open to everyone in need. And during the flood, the sad thing is that the refrigerator floated away in the flood waters um, and then damage to the storage area. This is going to help support repairs and new equipment, begin a irrigation system. Uh, we have two additional, uh, well, we have one more additional one and then two applications that we help support in a different way. Uh, the Migrant Justice Center located over in Burlington, it's a statewide organization to partially fund, or fund their request towards a new public address system and computers to further their work fighting for economic justice and human rights for Margaret farm workers here in Vermont. Uh, we also then provided two additional organizations with gift cards use, usable here at the co-op to buy food and other supplies for their two groups. We're really thrilled about how we're able to reach out into the community and support organizations, both directly, let's say, creating food uh, here for us, or how they support the various civil rights of, of people that we are very, very deeply concerned with. I thank you for your attention, and let's keep up the great work going forward. Good night.